five new features that are in WWE 2K23. Let's cover them today, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brendan Plays. We're going to cover the five best features, in my opinion, that are now a part of WWE 2K23. Let's jump straight into it. Number one is create an entrance. Now, we have had this feature in the past, but it hasn't been its full-fledged mode that it should be. It's now officially back. So what we can now do in create an entrance is we can customize every detail. If you want Pyro, you want the Cody Rhodes magnificent entrance where you have Pyro every five seconds, you can do it. If you want to adjust the Undertaker and make him do a dance to the ring, you can do it. So you, you can do whatever you want now with create an entrance. There is some limitations, of course, so we still don't have, you know, custom music and things like that. But for the most part, everything you need is pretty much there to create the dream entrance for your WWE superstar. Now, for example, I gave Edge a Judgment Day entrance where he's just walking the ring. He's got the Judgment Day theme song. So if I want to use Edge as the Judgment Day, I can do that. Next up is the changes to My Rise. This year we have two stories that we can play as, the Legacy Mode and the Lock Mode. In the Legacy Mode, your art is a former WWE Superstar and a WWE Hall of Famer. So you have that extra pressure of being able to live up to that expectation of your family legacy. Can you achieve the same success as your aunt or will you be a failure? Now, on the other side of things, we have the lock. So the lock is a little bit like the next big thing. You are expected to be the next greatest WWE superstar, but immediately you get paired with your typical WWE gimmick. You're known as the lock. You come to the ring where you have a padlock around your neck. It's ridiculous, it's silly. But the funny thing is, is they kind of recognize that it's silly. Your character knows that it's silly. So you kind of work to shake that bad gimmick off your shoulders and work your way to the top. Both stories seem intriguing, both seem interesting. And as someone who hasn't played a lot of My Rise in the past, I feel like I'm definitely gonna jump into it this year. Next up is the new edition of the War Games matchup. So we can finally play as the War Games match in a WWE game. Now we have two options for War Games, three on three or four on four. We have the NXT arena and the Survivor Series arena as well. So basically you can do your dream War Games matchups and it all works really well. You can go seamlessly in between the two rings. You can also have weapons brought in straight away whilst you're outside of the cage. You can bring it in and spice things up. You really have the freedom to make war games what you want it to be and you can pick who has the advantage as well so you kind of have that full freedom just to make war games the match that is always intended to be bloody dangerous brutal it's all in there and it's definitely one of the matches you need to play as first when you get the game Next up is Showcase Mode. So Showcase Mode is back. This time it'll be featuring John Cena and all of John Cena's biggest losses throughout his career. So you can start with John Cena's debut match against Kurt Angle in 2002, all the way through to John Cena and Roman Reigns in 2021. Your goal is to beat John Cena in 14 of some of his most iconic matchups and definitely worth playing because there's a lot to unlock in this game mode, a lot of wrestlers, a lot of titles, a lot of attires. So you must go out of your way to play this because you will get the most out of your game by playing this game mode. So John Cena's showcase mode, certainly a lot of fun and certainly worth playing through. Finally, GM mode, the mode I've been most excited for. Lots of little things for GM mode this year. So we can now have more championships, the US title, the Intercontinental Championship, Tag Team Championships. You know, they still have the Women's Championship. We still have the WWE World Championships. So we have all that. You can also play as new brands. WCW is an option, NXT, NXT 2.0. So you have that freedom to play as something a little bit different. New managers as well. Eric Bischoff's an option, Kurt Angle. You can still have your own custom custom avatar, and of course the regulars, Stephanie, Adam Pearce, Sonya Deville, etc. Now the big thing for me this year is they've added seasonal and Hall of Fame objectives. So it gives you something a little bit extra to kind of work on. The idea of GM mode is to become a Hall of Fame GM. So to do that, you need to tick off a series of challenges that you can achieve throughout your seasons. Now you also have as many seasons as you want to play as, so you don't just stop after one year, you can keep on going and keep on growing your roster. And also, you can take on up to four GMs at once. So if you want to do Raw, SmackDown, NXT, and even WCW in a playthrough, now you can. So you can have that extra layer of competition if you want to. 
But again, it's just for me a little thing, it's just having a bit more of an easier to access journal where you can track everything that's happening. Like for example, which two superstars work together well as a tag team, who doesn't work well together, who's got good chemistry in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, who would make good rivals, What's my commissioner goal for the week? How are the ratings faring? Just a lot of little things that are just that little bit easier to track. So I feel like it just overall, the game mode is just a lot better. It's got a little bit more depth to it. You can actually sort of dive in and, and sort of achieve what you want. Of course, not only that, there's a lot more match types you can now have. We can finally do triple threats, fatal four ways. We don't have the options for six and eight man matches, unfortunately. And all the regular match types are there. TLC, Hell in a Cell, Steel Cage, you name it. It is all still there for you to play with. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Five new features that I'm personally the most excited for. Let me know in the comment section down below which feature you're most excited for in this video, but also, what other features are you looking forward to playing with? I know there's lots of new customization options, plenty more to do as well in my faction mode. So let me know in the comment section down below. And ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, help me get to 100,000 subscribers. We're trying to get there this year. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like on the video as well. And thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.